A hummingbird feeder. And we, and All right, so we have seen a couple of hummingbirds here over the last couple of years. So hummingbirds like sweet water or just sugary water. And so that's all you have to do is you have to just melt uh, your sugar, dissolve your sugar into your water and then pour it into your feeder and then and hang your feeder out for the hummingbirds to come and get. So that's what we're gonna do. So step one, get a pot of water. So there are two different ways you can go about getting enough water uh, for your bird feeder. You can stick more than enough water in a pot and begin to get that hot and, and boiling. Uh, what we're doing here is we just added water to our bird feeder and then we poured that water into a measuring cup and that told us exactly how much water uh, we needed, uh, which then knowing the amount of water we're putting in lets us put in the right amount of sugar, which is four parts water and one part sugar. So now we are adding the sugar to our measuring cup so that we can get the right amount of sugar. And then we're going to add that to our hot water that's on the stove and just begin to stirring that around to help dissolve it in that hot water. So the goal now is to dissolve the sugar in the water. And so we're just heating the water, letting the sugar dissolve, stirring it as it does. Then we need the water to cool, so we'll stick it in the freezer uh, for just a quick cool down. Then we'll put it out in the yard. One word of caution, you don't want to stick your boiling hot water into the glass because then it could break, especially if you don't put it into the, um, into the feeder, the glass feeder, and then into the freezer because that will certainly break it. So we're just going to stick this whole pan into the freezer, that way we're safe. All right, so I don't know if you can tell, but Judah has sugar all over him. It's all on his clothes, his shorts, his shirt, his hands, and certainly in his mouth. In his mouth? Yeah. Now we just want to put our water into the feeder. So let an adult do this. So now that you have filled your hummingbird feeder with your solution, you can now put together your hummingbird feeder and hang it outside. So we are hanging ours on our pecan tree right here. So I've already marked out a spot where I want it. It'll be important for you to do that as well. So once you have your hummingbird feeder filled with your sugary water, all you have to do now is hang it. And, and so what we're gonna do, I'm just using this tomato twine and I'm just gonna tie a knot in, uh, in the string here. And that'll be all we do. Now, let me tie this knot. And that's all you've gotta do right there. Now you can buy decorative uh, rope or chain from uh, a box store, a local box store. Uh, we're just using what we have on hand. It's cheap, it's easy, and, and it gets the project done just within 30 minutes or less. And, and so now we've got our bird feeder hung, and so now we can sit on the deck and hopefully see some hummingbirds come by and enjoy a sweet treat.